I was thinking, by the way, someone said, why are chicken wings so expensive? It's the part of the chicken that people don't want. Well, two things. I guess one thing I would say is that obviously people do want it now. The other thing that I would say is I had a bit this weekend that I thought would go off. And then everybody in the Discord kind of hit me with silence when I did it. It was, um, what if a witch was following a buffalo wing recipe that she found off the internet? Mmm, one file of Franklin's Roiling Crimson Tonic. <laughs> the one pound of Feather This Velociraptor Wings. One... <laughs> Sorry. Wrap it up, bro. Well, it's a... Dude, that would have... If that shit was on SNL in 1982, your dad would still be talking about it to this day. He would be like, Yo, when Gilda Radner did Witch Following a Buffalo Wings Recipe, that was like a classic comedy moment. A rectangular prism of churned cow's juice. Hmm. <laughs> Place it in a bubbling heat box for 20 minutes at 400 degrees. It could totally work, dude. It could totally work. You, you got no vision. Your 35 year old is slowing, is showing? Well, it is slowing, that's for sure. <laughs> What's the funniest joke on fucking 19 year old Twitter right now? We don't like John Fetterman anymore? Yeah, that's a real knee slapper. It's some real shit, bro. People's lives are getting ruined. I'm telling you, that joke can work. You just don't understand. You're, you're not ready for it, quite frankly. That's fine. Lots of people aren't ready for lots of stuff. You gotta do it anyway. This is gonna end poorly. Me going to the movie theater after accidentally getting spoiled on what's gonna happen in Inv Avengers Infinity War. Me going to any M. Night Shyamalan movie. <laughs> this is gonna end badly. This, see, that's a, good, that's a good, that's a pretty good one. That's a pretty good one. There's a lot to like there. Okay, okay. It clears the witch joke. People are going to be begging for the witch joke in the future. You're just not ready for it yet, and that's fine. You know what would be a funny guy to exist? Guy who washes his hands every time he goes to the bathroom but doesn't flush. That could be a sketch on like SNL or something like that. Could be like, you know, you're at your friend's house and the dude comes out of the bathroom and then you go like, ah, that was fast. Did you wash your hands? He's like, of course I wash my hands. What kind of a, an asshole do you think I am? Not wash my hands? You think I'm filthy or something like that? And he goes, I was just playing, brother. I was just playing. Anyway, I got to go next. And then he walks in and you just hear, ah, what is that? You didn't flush? Of course I didn't flush, bro. What do you fucking hate the earth? It's just pee. Get over it. Pee on the pee. Oh, you believe that shit about the airborne particles and the germs and shit like that? It's just pi just piss on the piss, bro. But don't flush. I'll shit on that pissed piss later. Put it on right after the witch cooking buffalo wings sketch. I'm mad that you guys don't know how good the witch cooking buffalo wings sketch could be. That's actually like the kind of character if you bust it out in an SNL audition, you're a, you're not even featured player next year. You're on the main cast. You're right after fucking Daryl Hammond and Keenan Thompson. So I guess your last name starts with a letter between U and Z, okay? Hey, hey man, what are you going to do in your SNL audition? I don't know thinking about doing witch cooking buffalo wings recipe yeah yeah do it man do it one file of franklin's roiling crimson tonic <laughs> oh it gets me every time <laughs> look at the plus twos man they love it what's the joke it's just like what if an a person like in the medieval era was describing Frank's red hot sauce.
It's just a hemomancer bit all over again. Bro, every fucking joke is just fucking no soap radio, okay? Get with the times. We used to have real comedy, now we're stuck with this. The real comedy guy wearing a fucking flower on his lapel asks you to smell it. When you get close, he squeezes something, shoots a little bit of piss in your face. You want to go back to that? No thanks. <laughs> Shit almost killed me the first time. 